So that's, um, that's Mel, Charlie Tango 011, and uh, he's on high ground, he's in Newbury, Berkshire, uh, Berkshire, which is about 75 miles from my QTH. <laughs> oh Roger, sorry, um, just stand by, I'm just doing a bit of video. So... So yeah, he's about 75 miles um, from this QTH, so he's doing really, really well. Yeah, Roger, Charlie Tango 1664 returning. Yeah, I was just doing a little bit of video there, just um, just to get Mel, and uh, just so he can actually, you know, hear himself on the Facebook page, because he's coming in quite sort of fairly strong now. And uh, yeah, so I'm just doing a little bit of video at the moment, but uh, yeah, I think, as, as you say, it's 70 miles, possibly 75 miles. Um, that's a fair way for any mobile station uh, to get out there, Steve, back to you. Yeah, Roger, Mark, did you uh, did you copy that? Mel said that you're making a trip over to him, uh, but you're quite quiet on the audio, uh, QSL. Uh, Roger, yeah, I couldn't quite make out what he was saying. I can hear him. I know he's there, but uh, I can't quite uh, make quite what he's saying. Uh, I can't quite make words out, I'm afraid. Oh, Roger, then, Mark. Well, yep, you're definitely making a trip. I'm not quite sure of uh, your current location. I think you said you was on the M1, but we reckon we're about 70 miles out from Mel, so that's a, that's a pretty good achievement there, Mark, from a mobile station. Back to you. Yeah, not bad at all, considering I'm in the Red Bull Dip as well, which is uh, quite a pain for any radio signal. Yeah, the rest of you, Dennis? Yeah, that's a pretty good result. Well, that's a nice one. Right, I'm just going to give quick give a shout out to Tim. I don't know if Tim uh, has got home to his QTH yet. So, Tim, uh, you got a copy on Fred in the Shed? Dave's on his uh, Cobra 2000, which is a uh, vintage rig. He's running just 12 watts on sideband. Well, certainly, uh, 
uh, that radio you're using at the moment. Fantastic there. Uh, you know, I couldn't fault that. You're uh, booming to me. Yeah, I'm using the old Cobra there, just on standard power there. So just 12 watts on the, uh, the Cobra 2000 GTL there, Mark. Well, it's nice to hear you, mate. Nice Love rig, Dave. Clear. Nice it's radio. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Tim. Yeah, that might be a bit better. I hope you're still videoing, Fred, because I've had a, a few issues with this radio. Uh, something's changed in the shack, I'm not too sure. So I'm uh, running the mic without any amplifier on, on the uh, MD100 mic now. But um, yeah, uh, hopefully I'm coming through a bit better. Yeah, QSL there, Tim, yeah. Absolutely fantastic, Tim. Uh, as always, uh, night nine by five, Tim. Nine by five. Yeah, I am videoing at the moment. My arm's dropping off. I'm doing a handheld job at the moment. I wasn't really set up for doing a video today. <laughs> but yeah, I'll have a bit of video uh, on the Facebook page hopefully later on. But yeah, you're coming across lovely, uh, Tim. Radio five. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay, no problem. Uh, I don't know if Mel's still there, is he? I'll give him a shout. Yeah, Mel, Mel in uh, Newbury. Newbury, have you got a copy on 1664 Fred in the Shed, QSL? Yeah, I'll give you a shout. Yeah, Mel, Charlie Tango 011, zero, zero, Charlie Tango 011, do you copy Charlie Tango 1664 QSL? Oh, that's a pity, Tim. He was there a minute ago. Um, we might give him another try in a minute. Okay, mate, no worries. I've just got him through the door anyway. Cheers for letting me in and uh, uh, holler me when uh, he comes out of my go. Evening, everybody else. 